everyone, I am so excited uh, to do a video on how to integrate this spline animation um, into your website, right? So I designed this in Spline. Um, it's for a live streaming app I'm building with no code using Adello called Klava. And essentially what it's allowing you to, streamers to do is make money uh, per minute from each viewer in their stream. Um, instead of having to rely on subscriptions and um, tips, you'll be able to tip as well in Clava. Um, but you know, mainly when you have viewers in your stream, you know you're making money, which is a really cool part. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm starting to design um, you know Clava's app from scratch, and you know I honestly like kind of wanna I kind of wanna like do one of these. And bring this like this. And yeah, maybe something like this. Oh, okay, never mind. I'd have to mess with the state. So I'm gonna keep it the same. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset my camera, which is option R. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna come in here to export. And you're gonna to wanna to get the embed URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and click copy here, okay? Um, so I'm gonna head, head on over to Webflow. And here I have the beginning part of my uh, website. Um, I have my layers here, and I have my pages, I have my symbols, I can add stuff, I have my collections, which is cool. And I have e-commerce, which is not gonna really matter, but we're gonna stay in layers. and. For s to start, I'm going to create a section, and I'm going to name this section um, section slash hero. And what I want this to do is take up 100 VH. So I want this to expand the whole screen, okay? Um, and then inside this section, actually, so I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to grab the background color here. So I'm going to make sure this is sec section background color is going to be black. Okay, so we have black. And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a uh, div, okay? And this is gonna be hero uh, div parent hero. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this 100%, okay? And the max width I want it to be is 980 pixels. Okay, because not every, not every website, you know, you're gonna have smaller screens, right? Um, but you don't want this to stretch like for the people that have these huge monitors, right? So I like setting it to 980 pixels, so it's right down the middle. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this button. This is a little kept secret here with Webflow. Um, if you click right here, it can still center this element um, on its own. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a grid. Okay, and let's just do one row. And we're gonna name this grid um, container hero. And what I'm gonna do is go into my div, I'm gonna add a layout, a flex layout, and I'm gonna make it vertical. And I'm gonna make sure it's dead in the middle, okay? Next thing I wanna do with my grid, why is I doing that? Is I'm gonna add a div, and this is gonna be uh, div grid um, um, content, okay? And then I'm gonna come in here. If you click Command K, you can do a quick little search like that instead of having to go up here and click the plus button. You do div grid spline. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this grid content here and add a header. Okay, and this is gonna be um, header. This is gonna be H1. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in here and do another heading, and this is gonna be uh, um, H, H, let's do H3. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna style this. I'm gonna make this system UI. We're gonna make this like this like kind of like purplish 
this. No purple, okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this Kava. And then over here, we're gonna make this around 19 pixels and it's gonna be 120%. And this guy's gonna be 120% as well. And honestly, I think I need to make this like 28. I don't like it being too big. Um, but what I do need to reduce is the space. So I wanna bring them closer. And we're gonna make this white. Okay. And one last thing, we're gonna make this normal. And what we're gonna say is um, start monetize make money per minute from each viewer in your stream changing the way streamers make money on their streams so yeah we want to draw people in right so what I want to do here is on this div, I want to bring this closer. So I want to bring it in about like 36, okay? And what we'll also do is we'll add a, um, a button and this will be button CTA hero. And we'll do since I'm building it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create we're gonna make this a, a really dark almost like a, a background like this and I kind of want to make this like a green and okay and now that I look at this I kind of want this bigger okay and what we're gonna do is we want to make this bigger as well I'm gonna draw people in we want to make sure it's bold and then I'm gonna hold an option shift. I'm just gonna increase this a little to 14, right? And then come down here, let's give it to some soft corners. Kinda of want it a little bit more rounded. And I don't like the green, I kinda of want it purple. So, yeah, yeah, I like that, I like that a lot. Okay. All right, so now what we need to do for the spline part, and you know what, I actually wanna bring this in as well. I actually, let's bring this guy in like 48. Okay, and then what I wanna do is, I wanna add an embed here. And when you add an embed, I'm just gonna save and close. Um, this is going to be embed hero uh, spline uh, hero spline embed. So what I really like doing with naming is just being able to quickly scan here and understand what the hell is going on to be honest, right? So like this is mainly my section hero stuff and then I have a hero parent and then I have a container hero and then I have um, the div grid content and then the div grid where my spline is gonna be, you know, hosted at. So what I wanna do is since I've I'm gonna go back into spline and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna remove the logo and um, I'm gonna make it one touch and orbit two touch and then um, what I'm gonna do is let me just see. Yeah that's perfect. Perfect. And then I love those presets. Um, and then what this is huge. So you're gonna wanna so this has some animations, right? And it's important that I, I turn it to performance so that it it loads quick on a uh, webflow. So I'm gonna click update. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is come in here and click and uh, sorry, gotta copy this iframe here click paste save and okay so you see it's showing up already right 
So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to head to our layers and we're going to make sure our grid is at 100% height. 100% height. And what we're going to make sure is it's dead center in the middle. And then what that can do is we'll head on over to our grid here um, and we're going to make this 100%. And we're going to make sure um, this is in the middle here. And I'm going to make sure that this is also 100%. And boom, we have our animation. So what's really cool about this is that if I click preview, I can literally turn this around in my website, right? Like this is animating already. And what I wanted to do is kind of have it flat maybe. Uh, that's for another time, but I wanted to, you know, show you guys what you can do with Spline and Webflow. And if I go ahead and publish this, come on. Sometimes Webflow is a little slow, but that's okay. Now I'm thinking about this. I want to add some space into this. And what if I actually made this like a green? It actually kind of looks not that bad. And yeah, I like this. Did it publish? Okay, a few seconds ago. So if I click this, it doesn't actually take that long to load, which is kind of cool. So let me just upload this, publish this again, because I added some, you know, early, get early access spacing to the subheader. And it should be updating soon. I'm still not updated. But see, see how performance, like, it loads fast. Um, this, unfortunately, is taking a little <laughs> longer than I expected. So, but this is all I want to show you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I'm going to keep, you know, going through, you know, honestly, I just want to see something. And then what I can do is... I think I like this better. Changing the way streamers monetize. Make money per minute from each viewer in your stream. Start make money a second start making start earning the, the second start earning the second one no, I, like, I like make money per minute based off of each viewer in your stream so now I kind of like this setup better honestly I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little text span here and I'm just gonna add a. Um, I'm just gonna go in here, and I'm gonna make this um, span hero h h1. I'm gonna delete that little attack, okay? And I'm just gonna make this like a green, right? And now what I'm gonna do? I'll add my logo and clove at the top left here, along with the nav bar, and then. Um, yeah, and then this probably looks a lot nicer now if this would hurry up. Um, but I could always preview it here like this. And yeah, people can interact with this. Now, this is a little bit of an issue, right? So how can we fix that? So what I can do with the grid is edit grid and columns zero. So they squeeze next to each other. And we want the hero to be 100%. And we want um, the div to also be 100%. Okay, so now what happens is, right, now this looks a lot better. And what we can do is we can add that 16 padding or 20 padding back to there. 
to give a nice little spacing, right? So now people can interact with this, and this looks really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.